NASA is easily the biggest, most influential space program in the world, and while others are coming forward with impressive new tech and research, NASA continues to develop their equipment and push limits further than we ever thought they could. We've all come to know and love the Hubble Space Telescope, which launched on April 24, 1990, but scientists and researchers said that it was time for an update, and this comes in the form of the James Webb Telescope, an impressive new telescope ready to update our telescope tank. The James Webb Telescope costs around 10 billion US dollars, or around 7.2 billion pounds. While the sky high budget allows for the latest features and most advanced equipment, it also comes with high stakes. Unsurprisingly, with such a huge budget, and also a huge amount of advanced goals, the James Webb Telescope, also known as the JWST, is the most complicated NASA venture in recent years, so it's only realistic to expect there to be some delays, dilemmas and concerns involved while it's being developed. As of right now though, scientists are looking towards the future, and have announced that the James Webb Telescope may be able to detect extraterrestrial life based on air pollution, with NASA scientists saying that it might be able to pick up on this pollution as it's being released directly from their planets. The scientists have also been vocal about how the James Webb Telescope will be launching us into a new era, one where we could realistically encounter advanced life forms, or at least traces of these civilizations, and this raised an interesting question, are we ready for such a discovery? The study by the Blue Marble Space Institute of Science in Seattle said that by using the James Webb Telescope, scientists and researchers have the ability to search for industrial pollutants, saying that these can be detected around exoplanets. In the last few years alone, NASA has said that more than 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered, and these are just the confirmed ones, further saying that there's thousands of other candidate exoplanet detections that require further observations. An exoplanet is any planet beyond our solar system, and as mentioned it's important to note that these are just the confirmed ones, with scientists estimating that Kepler data calculated that the Milky Way galaxy could have around 6 billion Earth-like planets, with around 300 million of these being habitable, while the number of planets residing in the observable universe is estimated to be around 700 quintillion. Scientists working on the study have said that if the James Webb Telescope was to detect chlorofluorocarbons from distant worlds, then this could mean that they're habitable, and that further research could be carried out in these regions to see if any more signs can be detected. The researchers involved in the study said the following. CFCs are a notable example of a techno-signature on Earth and the detection of CFCs on a planet like TRAPPIST-1e would be difficult to explain through any biological or geological features we know of today. Our civilization continues along a path of growth in both population and energy consumption, while we're only beginning to understand the extent to which our technology could be detectable at astronomical distances. Continued exploration of how the past, present and future of civilization will affect Earth's detectability remains an important objective for understanding the prevalence of biosignatures and technosignatures in our galaxy. In this study we have shown that with the launch of the James Webb Telescope, humanity may be very close to an important milestone, one where we're capable of detecting from nearby stars not just powerful, deliberate, transient and high directional transmissions like our own, but consistent, passive techno-signatures of the same strength as our own. The detectability of CFCs in an Earth-like planet's atmosphere is strongly dependent on the radius and spectrum of the host star, and the TRAPPIST-1 system in particular is extremely favourable. End quote. A 2020 study found that there are 1,004 star systems that have a direct view of planet Earth, being in close enough proximity to see and study our home, as well as being able to detect chemical traces of our presence. In a turn of events, instead of trying to find alien life, 
researchers are now looking at what life could be finding us. Recent searches for other life have been focused on the dimming of exoplanets as they pass between star and the telescope that's observing it. However, now researchers have looked to which planets are aligned well enough to detect Earth, or more specifically figure out that we have life. Lisa Koltenegger, the lead author of the paper, stated that if observers were out there searching, they would be able to see signs of a biosphere in the atmosphere of our pale blue dot. Of the 3,185 star systems found outside of our solar system since 1993, 1,004 have been determined close enough to and positioned accurately enough to perceive signs of our existence on Earth. This information has been provided through the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, also known as TES. With the James Webb Telescope, these exoplanets will now be explored in greater detail, possibly signalling out gases within the atmosphere that could indicate life, such as methane or oxygen. On the flip side, however, there is the possibility that aliens could beat us to the punch. If they had their own version of the James Webb Telescope, they could be making advancements to communicate with us at this very moment. Despite there being a thousand and four possible star systems within close enough proximity to observe us here on Earth, this does not mean that they're equipped with life to conduct this type of research. For example, 5% of the stars are too young for intelligent species to have evolved, regardless as to the environmental conditions of the planets orbiting it. This development opens up more avenues to researching alien life, with the possibility of the James Webb Telescope bringing major breakthroughs in the near future. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries? And do you think the James Webb Telescope will finally confirm that we're not alone in the universe? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.